Welcome to another video. So, I recently covered Rucline, which is a fork of Klein that brings much better features to what Klein has. But recently, it has gotten some very cool features that make it a lot different from Klein now. Let's talk about all these new features, and you can now even use Claude for free with it. So, let's dive right in. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-40, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one Chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that. They have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code King25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now, let's come back to the video. As I said, Rucline is a fork of Klein, so there will be the same stuff as what Klein got in recent days. But since it's a fork, it has some good new stuff as well, which Klein doesn't have. So, I'll majorly focus on the major new ones, because there is a bunch of smaller stuff as well. Anyway, one of the major new features here is the chat modes. Chat modes is very similar to the chat modes of Ader. You get three chat modes here, Edit, Architect, and Ask. Edit basically just works as usual and edits the file or whatever based on your prompt. The Architect mode basically just makes high-level designs. So, you can ask it to do something and it won't do anything. Instead, it will make a plan. And for this, you can use a model like O1 or any kind of reasoning model with it. Once you make the plan, you can use the edit mode and implement those changes. So, this is great if you want to use it. There's also the ask mode, which will not do any edits or anything, and it will just respond based on read-only operations. This is handy if you want to just understand the code base or something. Apart from this, there are also new ways to change the system prompts for the modes as well. There's also a new option to enhance prompts and everything like that. But one of the main and actually one of the best features that it has is the option to use VS Code language models, including Copilot. Now, many of you may not know what this means. Well, this means that you can use the models provided by GitHub's Copilot as an LLM, which means that if you use GitHub's Copilot Pro, or even the free version, then you can use the model from that. If you use Copilot free, then you can use those 50 messages to Claude 3.5 Sonnet or GPT-40 via Klein and use it as a proper model in Klein. While if you use Copilot Pro, which costs $10, then you can use Claude 3.5 Sonnet or even O1 with Rucline for fully free, which makes it not only a cheap alternative to Cursor, but actually even better, which is just insane to think about. So, for $10, you can use Rucline with whatever model you want. Not just that, you can even use Klein with Claude for free up to 50 messages since Copilot has that option which is quite insane. So, let me tell you how you can use it and everything about it. First of all, get RuKlein installed and updated by going to Extensions. Once you have done that, just open it up. Now, at first glance only, it looks a bit different from Klein now, because at the bottom, you have the options to change the type of chat mode. You can select Code, Architect, or Ask. Another thing that you have apart from this is this option. 
you can see that this says default. Well, this is a new thing that they have introduced called profiles. So, if I go to the settings here, then you can see that we have the configuration profile here, and you can make new ones here as well. Each one of the profiles will contain these settings. These profiles are pretty handy to quickly toggle because you can set up the model you use under one profile along with preferred language, custom instructions, and all the other stuff about auto-approve and things like that. But one of the major features is the provider option here. Here, you can see the option of the VS Code LM API, which is pretty cool because if we select it, then you can see that we have these model options here, including Claude, 3.5 Sonnet. To make these models available, you'll need to get GitHub Copilot installed and signed in as well, even if it's a free account. In a free account, you'll only get 50 requests per month, while if you are a paid member, which costs $10, then it will be unlimited which is actually cheaper than Cursor. Also, there's no fast or slow thing either, like Cursor, which is quite amazing as well. You'll also get O1 preview on the premium subscription, I believe. Anyway, I have the free version, and I can still use Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So, let's select it. Now let's go back. So, here, let's first select the architect mode. Now, let's ask it to make me a plan for a playable synth keyboard. Once we type it in, you can see that we get this new option here as well, which is basically a prompt enhancement that will automatically enhance the prompt you type in. Once we hit it, you can see that it's now enhanced, and we can now just send it in. Once we do that, you can see that it first lays out a plan here. If we wait a bit, then the plan is now here and it asks us to change the mode to edit to implement the changes. Once we do that, we can just ask it to implement the changes, and sending it, we'll start making the stuff. Let's wait a bit, and it's now done. So, this is pretty amazing. The Claude 3.5 Sonnet via Copilot works amazingly well with it. I mean, it's pretty flawless. It made all these files and everything. Let's run it and check it as well. Okay, this is the best generation from a look that I have seen yet. Like, it has the volume control and other synth controls as well. If we play it, then this also works pretty well, which is quite amazing. So, that's great. Rookline is quite amazing. I really think that this has a ton of better features over Klein for sure. Although it can get a bit complex because there are a bunch of settings and stuff, it's still great for tweakers like us. Plus, this VS Code LM API is so good. I mean, this basically means that people who used to complain that Klein is costly shouldn't have any issue because you can just get the Copilot subscription of $10 and use Claude 3.5 Sonnet with RuKlein all you want, which is not only cheaper than Cursor, but also better than Cursor. Plus, the free tier of Copilot with it is also amazing because you can use Sonnet for free with it as well, even if you don't want to commit to Copilot's pricing. So, there's no need to use Cursor anymore because this setup beats it for sure, and that too for free. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.